Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this equilateral triangle ABC as you can see in this figure. In other words, AB this side length AB equal to this side length BC equal to this side length AC and now we are going to calculate the X and Y values. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's consider this side length AB equal to side length BC and we know our side length AB is 3X minus 4 and this our other side length BC is 2X plus one so we can write this one as 3x minus 4 equal to 2x plus 1 now let's move this 2x on the left hand side and negative 4 on the right hand side so we are going to get 3x and then minus 2x equal to 1 plus 4 so thus 3x minus 2x is going to give us x equal to 1 plus 4 is 5. So our x value turns out to be 5. And here's our next step. Let's consider this side length AC equal to side length BC. In our case, our side length AC is x y plus y minus 7 and our side length bc is 2x plus 1 so we can write it as x y plus y minus 7 equals to 2x plus 1 all right now let's go ahead and move this negative 7 on the right hand side so we got x y plus y equal to 2x plus 1 and this negative 7 is going to become positive 7 so thus we got x y plus y equal to 2x plus 8 and now we are going to substitute x equal to 5 value in this equation. So wherever we see x, I am going to replace that value by 5. So we got this one, 5y plus y equal to 2 times 5 plus 8. Let's simplify. 5y plus 1y is going to give us 6y equal to 10 plus 8 so 6y turns out to be 18 let's divide both sides by 6 so y turns out to be simply 3 so thus our x value turns out to be 5 and y equal to 3 value let's go ahead and plug it in in these x's and y's and see whether we get the right answer over here when we substitute this one for x equal to 5 value so this become 3 times 5 minus 4 so that is going to become 15 minus 4 is going to be 11 so this side turns out to be 11 this one over here 2 times 5 plus 1 so 10 plus 1 is once again this side is 11 as well and finally in this side AC this is if we replace this one 5 for X and Y for 3 plus 3 minus 7 so 15 plus 3 minus 7 so that is once again is going to give us 11 so we can see that all these sides are equal to 11 so thus our x value turns out to be 5 and y value is 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.